Hey guys, Bushcraft412 here, and I want to give you a quick water purification trick. This is something I learned about actually a couple years ago, and I can't believe I've never made a video on this yet, because uh, it's a really neat trick. I was reading about water pur purification and doing a lot of research back maybe five or six years ago for backpacking and outdoor kind of things, and I was reading about, you know, Giardia and Cryptosporidium and all those nasty little wigglies that are in the water. And while well, I was coming across um, and reading and just kind of Googling uh, like water purification tips, hints, secrets, you know, things like that, trying different combinations, I came up with this little secret. And it's actually approved by the WHO, the World Health Organization, and is a method for purifying water that is used in uh, many uh, third world countries that can't um, afford or are able to get modern uh, purification techniques and it's as simple as it gets and this is all you need to do it is a clear plastic water bottle um, preferably one with no tint or anything like that to it but also you want it to be as smooth as possible you don't this one here has a lot of ridges in it but potentially if you can find them with the, the least amount of ridges it is the best and here is the trick it's really easy you fill this sucker full of water and you leave it in the sun for five to six hours. Uh, the principle works in that if you leave this thing in the sun, it's like a greenhouse. All that ultraviolet light and radiation gets in, but it can't escape. And over the course of the day, the temperature of the bottle will heat up enough that it will pasteurize any uh, creepy crawlies in the water. And also, as you know, as if many of you guys are backpackers, um, ultraviolet light does kill you know bacteria and, and viruses and things like that uh, because they do make the uh, the ultraviolet pens that you can put into water to sterilize them this allows all that ultraviolet light to hit the water and sterilizes the water so neat little trick it's very prevalently uh, used in third world countries where they just don't have the infrastructure to purify water um, one trick it does say, on the, and you can actually look this up on the WHO website, um, if you want the water to purify quicker, put this on some like aluminum flashing or, you know, some kind of like a reflective backing. Um, I know they showed uh, people putting these, there's pictures of these lined up on people's roofs, like metal roofs, and they were using them as a way to purify the water just sitting on top of their roof. This is just a really neat tip for anyone who might be like an outdoorsman, a backpacker, a uh, prepper, or anything like that, you know. It's just another way to filter your water without using a ton of resources, um, especially if there is any kind of like uh, grid down power situation and you're really desperate for water and you need it, you know, instead of spending a lot of time boiling water and using fuel and energy, having just a couple of... Uh, clear plastic water bottles or soda bottles or whatever you can purify a lot of water with absolutely no effort just leave it out in the sun uh, they recommend five to six hours but I guess if you're in an area that maybe it's like partly cloudy or something like that maybe leaving it for for eight or ten hours but you can do two liter bottles three liter bottles any any clear plastic water bottle you can get um, and it is, like I said, it's approved by the World Health Organization as a means to safely purify water. And there is no research I've seen to the contrary that it wouldn't. You do have to use common sense, of course. And if the sun's not, you know, blaring down on this, it's not going to purify it. But very good technique, simple, and all you need is just a couple recycled water bottles. Hope you enjoyed. Bushcraft 412.